Hey guys, I am Naomi Majera. Thanks for tuning in. We are gonna do today a review of the Happy Baby Revolution Carrier. Uh, so, see you in a second. We are super excited. Uh, we finally received our Happy Baby Revolution Carrier from the United States. Uh, we're currently living in New Zealand. Um, so I've had, oh, thank you, thank you for the rocks, thank you. So I've had my eye on this for, I don't know, ever since I've had Nikita, and I saw someone wearing um, just the, oh, hi you. And I saw someone wearing just the original baby carrier um, when we were in California one time. Is this gonna work? <laughs> Ready? <Yeah. laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, so I saw someone wearing one in California while we were there one time, and um, I asked her where you know what kind of carrier it was. She told me it was the Happy Baby, um, and then I had a look, and at that point they didn't have a front-facing version. Uh, but so this is new. This is a Happy Revolution which is their uh, front facing so they can face forwards, um, inwards toward you, and then they can be on your back as well. So I'll quickly read just a couple things. Um, newborn to toddler, no extra, infert, insert, no extra infant or insert needed. Um, for four positions, including a forward facing option. The uh, pocket, the hidden pocket carries the sun cover with extra room for storage. Um, you can wear it if you've had a c-section it's 30 to 50 percent lighter than most um, soft structured carriers currently on the market so that's a big one for us because we travel almost full-time uh, we're on a bit of a, a hold up right now because of covid so um, ergonomic shoulder design features slim profile sleek and minimal design made in the usa so on the note about made in the usa uh, this has been extremely hard to get a hold of, extremely hard. So one I mean, there's been numerous times where and we're on their email update list, numerous times where we've had an email update saying, all right, we're going to be back in stock on this day at this time, you know, get in and get your orders in. So we'll be up at like, cause we're in New Zealand, we'll be up at like three in the morning and we'll like be waiting at our computer and my husband's a computer whiz it's not like he's slow at these kinds of things but we'll be waiting we'll it'll go up and in a split second we'll click you know buy now you know get it in the cart and within that split second they're sold out so we don't know what's going on whether it's bots or you know there's just a bunch of stores who have them on back order that are just you know dying to get them in so there's got to be some sort of automated system that people are using to be able to get these within the split second that we you know have been ordering them so finally just like randomly uh, about a couple weeks ago we just went on their site and they had three colors available and they hadn't announced that they were in stock so um, one of the colors was the uh, what's it called the chateau it's like a gray um, but it has little white flowers on it so i really wanted the gray um, just plain but i think um, i'm really gonna like the white flowers so this is an unboxing video i will show you okay so First impression, I love the color. Um, I really love the little leather um, detail there. The straps are super padded. Um, okay, I forgot about this. This is a little um, handbag strap. So if you're like me and you have a diaper bag that you just carry on your shoulder, it's not a backpack style. If you're wearing a carrier and you are trying to um, carry a handbag at the same time, I would say 99% of the time those straps are gonna fall off your shoulder. This snaps them in place so that you can have your handbag um, held there conveniently. So super awesome. Okay, um, the chest strap, it is black. I think I like black. I like um, my Sakura Bloom Scout Carrier has leather and I love the leather. I love the feel of it. 
um, but one reason that I really wanted to use these is because of the ease of the buckle, both in the chest strap and around the waist. Um, and the lack of metal. If, uh, if you're like me and you do a lot of traveling, you can't carry your, carry your baby through a x-ray machine um, because of the metal. So you have to take them out of the carrier, which is a nightmare. So plastic buckles, one of the main reasons I wanted to do this. Uh, so yeah, super nice and easy. The, um, the adjustment, the chest strap adjustment is pretty easy. Um, and with my other one, they had different loops. They had like loops under here that you had to like unbuckle and then change the loops if you wanted to adjust the chest strap. So this is much easier. Um, okay, and then we have at the front here, we have the little adjustment for where the baby's legs can go if they're forward facing. So if they're facing towards you, so let's say like, just for demonstration, if they are facing toward you, then you have, um, you have this out so that it kind of wraps around their hips. Um, but if they're forward facing, you, I guess I haven't done this yet. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So I guess you, un you fold it under somehow. Okay, I have no idea how this works. I think you, I think you must fold it under and then like buckle it somehow. Okay, I have no idea. I'm gonna have to like play with this off camera and then figure out how to do that because it's not super intuitive. But there is a um, little adjustment in here that I'm guessing has something to do with it. I will show you guys when I figure it out. Um, so yeah, this is the um, waist strap. So it's got little um, tie-in points. It is super minimalist, I have to say. So, oh, here we go. We have, oh, it's a zipper storage pouch. I love that. Okay, that's really nice. So the storage pouch is a zipper and then in here you have the sunshade and it looks like it just flips out and then you're going to just, um, I would say probably it clips onto these things and there's different, um, different uh, heights that you can do I'm guessing. Uh, so that's really nice. And I love that it's a zipper, that it just stuffs right back in there. And you can, there's little um, snaps that you can take it out entirely. Um, and I guess wash it separately, or just if you don't use a sunshade, a sunshade ever, you can just um, store that away somewhere else. So um, really cool. Uh, I also have heard or seen that you can stuff the whole carrier inside this sunshade pouch that might be only on the original but I'm gonna give it a go I might practice it off camera so that I don't look like <laughs> an idiot trying to get it in there um, so yeah I will practice that but overall super excited um, I'm currently uh, six and a half months pregnant um, so we are going to be trying this out with the new baby once she's here. Um, so yeah, my toddler is two and a half and uh, with my pregnant belly, I don't think I'll be able to do the forward facing option, uh, but I could probably get her on my back on this. She loves being carried. So um, I'm gonna round her up and show you uh, her on my back. So this is Nikita, my little two and a half year old model. Uh, she is happy. Are you happy in here? Um, so I figured out, I think I figured out, I never looked at an instructional, but I think I figured out where to fold the panels to get it front facing. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so first things first, she is sitting on my pregnant belly and that is definitely getting in the way of how she's supposed to be resting kind of on the bottom panel of this. So I wouldn't recommend front carrying a toddler while you're pregnant at all in any, in any carrier. Um, are you okay? You're okay, stay here for just a minute, okay? <laughs> um, next thing I notice is how comfortable these shoulder straps are. 
<laughs> um, my Sakura Bloom tends to kind of fall off my shoulders. Uh, I have, I'm quite narrow uh, in the shoulders. And so this is just night and day different. Um, the, all these little ties roll up, so it keeps it like this rolls up too um, and gets tucked away. So it gives it a really kind of a sleek, um, sleek finish, which I really like. Um, with my Sakura Bloom, it had the linen oh, tail, wow. which when I'm being active in things, it's just <laughs> not super convenient because it can drag on the ground or just kind of get in the way. So I just, I really like the fit and the way that it is um, secured with a buckle and belt design rather than um, a linen tie. So that just, it just feels a lot more secure to me. She feels super secure other than the fact that she is sitting on the other baby <laughs> in the belly. So yeah. Um, anyway, I will show you guys um, how I figured out the panels underneath and I'll double check to make sure that that's right. You're free! <laughs> <laughs> you want back in? You want to hop back in? No. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna. Because we're gonna do the back one now. Do you want to get on Mama's back? Yeah. Do you want to hop on the back? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, come on. Arms. Ready? Hold. Yeah, I think, I think it's good. I want to say these little things, the very tops of the slider, they might kind of run into like your neck a little bit. Um, I might need to do a little bit of like more fine tuning, um, but she's also very heavy and she's two and a half and she technically doesn't even need to be carried anymore. So um, yeah, it feels, feels pretty good and I can have it another thing is I can have it under my belly which um, feels fine it actually kind of feels supportive so uh, yeah what do you think is that good yeah ready to go for a walk we'll go for a walk <laughs> that way okay <laughs> So um, when it's a bit cold and windy, it is pretty cold, I would say. Um, she loves to tuck her hands in. She does that in our hiking carrier that we have. Um, so it's nice, it's very easy for her to kind of tuck her hands in. Um, so yeah, she's just a little bit, a little bit chilly, aren't you, sweetie? <laughs> but she is ready to go for a walk. She's very happy that she's in here now. <laughs> so with these panels, it's super easy. They just have little buttons here and you just unclip them and then you clip them together and then they just fold underneath baby to give like a little bit of extra padding. So that's really nice. So this is my first attempt at stuffing it into the sunshade zipper pocket. Uh, in all honesty, uh, and this is, uh, you kind of turn the zipper pocket inside out and then um, stuff it kind of from the outside in, I guess. Uh, in all honesty, I don't think that I will be storing it this way. I had to remove the sunshade for starters and then kind of it stuffed into the pocket, but I really wouldn't trust um, the zipper. I have a feeling that, that, that trying to stuff it all in there and zip it closed, it would break the zipper and it's just not a very easy uh, way to stuff it in. I have a feeling that um, original baby carrier probably could be stuffed in but the Revolution has those extra panels and just a little bit more padding. So uh, probably not gonna be doing it that way, but we'll figure out something else. Well, thank you so much for watching you guys. Um, we, I'm sure we'll do another review um, of the Happy Baby Revolution Carrier with a newborn. Uh, and then uh, also we'll probably do a comparison video between my Sakura Bloom Scout and Revolution Baby Carrier and the uh, Ergo Omni 360. We have all three. So um, really excited for those. So stay tuned. This was always the issue whenever I would want to carry her and have the diaper bag with me. Always. Because I can't, if she's on my back, I can't put a diaper bag backpack on. This is literally a lifesaver. 